is Fran Davis. She loves going on walks and spending time with her family. She lives in a local nursing home and she has Alzheimer's dementia. For Fran, the pandemic has been really difficult and she's not alone. Tonight, a snapshot of the negative impact the coronavirus pandemic has had on the elderly, on Fran's family, and maybe even yours. What's, what's, what's their names? Samantha. 88-year-old Fran Davis is the proud mother of five children, more than a dozen grandchildren, and come the spring, will wear the title of great-grandmother for the first time. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Look at how cute. Two of her five, daughters Kristen and Lisa. My mom, she was a very good housewife and a great mom. She is the rock in the family. Known for her delectable eclairs and cream puffs and birthday cards for each and every one of those grandkids about 15 years ago. Who's that baby she's holding? Friends' children noticed changes in their mom's memory. And she started questioning maybe her recipes, um, if she had mailed out a bill. Years later, a doctor diagnosed Fran with Alzheimer's dementia. And sometimes she'll say, I, I must be going crazy because I can't, I can't, I don't remember doing that. Eventually, after more than 80 independent years, it was determined Fran could no longer live alone. And moving to United Methodist Homes Hilltop Campus would be a safer setting. I think that there was a big gap that she felt like, what, what is my purpose, you know? Um, why am I here? Despite a bumpy start, Fran grew to make friends. People would say hi to her, hi Fran, and just joke with her. And while she lived in a new place, her very active social life, both in and outside Hilltop, didn't stop. You're with your daughter and your son-in-law, or they're visiting, or you're going out to eat, or you're going walking. But then came 2020 and COVID-19. Everything just went down. Friends' daughters explain she went from a full life of constant activity to almost no social interaction at all. For months, they say she was confined to her room, even for meals. No visitors, no trips outside of the nursing home. I think any of us would go crazy if we tried to do that. A flip in lifestyle, coupled with a declining memory that they say was devastating. Why did you put me here? Why Why are you abandoning me? I can't believe that you kids can't come and see me. None of my friends have come. They. Everybody has dropped me. Nobody acts like I'm alive anymore. I might as well be dead. Come Easter, Fran contracted COVID-19 and beat it. But her family explains the sickness was the least of their problems. It was hard. Um, there's a, there's a bench outside her window. And I go up sometimes and sit out on the bench. She's on the second floor, so... But we talk on the phone. And while her children gave her all the support they could, for someone who forgets seconds later, it at times just wasn't enough. You can tell her all you want. Mom, we love you. We want to be there. There's a pandemic and we're... We can't come. She feels so lonely and abandoned. Praising Friends Nursing Home, but forced to face the many restrictions of the pandemic, Lisa and Kristen watched not only their mom's memory, but mood and personality slip away. And she's very uh, quick-witted. Uh, she wasn't wanting to even do that anymore. And impacts weren't just mental. So when she gets upset, the first thing to affect her is her stomach. Medical director of Lord's Geriatric and Palliative Medicine, Dr. Jerome McClusich, explains Fran isn't the only one suffering so severely. I think it is having, you know, a global impact on our elderly. And just like Fran's family, he questions if the virus itself 
really is the biggest enemy. What's worse, the COVID and the damage it can do once it gets in your nursing home or the restrictions and the isolation that it's putting on our senior population. Rattling off a laundry list of side effects. The avoidance of necessary medical care I think is critical. They're losing their physical capabilities. They're becoming more dependent for personal care and on other people to help them out. With an end result, he says can and has been deadly. I mean, I've seen patients who have been stable for years with their disease now declining for the first time in a long time. I mean, they've had a slow insidious, but now you see this significant decline and you worry that that decline is a decline towards death. Oh, yeah. After months of isolation, Fran was finally reunited with some of her family just a few weeks ago. No windows, no screens, no telephone. So I got her in the car, we got back there, and she leaned over and she grabbed me and she gave me hugs. She said, thank you so much. But the reality is, the pandemic isn't over. And Lisa lives several states away. And the next time I see her, is it going to be that she doesn't know me? Or is it going to be that she's going to be in a casket? In your last days, you want to be with loved ones. You want to be with family. You want to be able to hug. You want to be able to just put your arms around her and say, Mom, I love you. It's things you don't even think about that, that these people who we love so much are being just thrown away. Now looking to the future, Fran's family wants improvement some kind of solution okay. to what their mom has gone through, and they're willing to be a part of a plan to make sure that her past experiences don't happen again. Now, I reached out to Fran's nursing home, the United Methodist Homes Hilltop Campus. Staff there told me they're working hard to keep residents both active and connected while at the nursing home. Methods include visitation booths, helping residents talk to loved ones on the phone, using iPads for virtual visits, games, and church services, a transformation of its activities programs, and bringing in community entertainers and a musical therapy program. The nursing home told me in part, quote, this is a challenging time for all, but we will continue to adapt to this forever changing COVID journey to ensure we are supporting our residents in the most positive way, unquote. For the full statement from the nursing home, as well as more details on this story, head to our website. That's WBNG.com.